This right here is my pretty girl sweat. Okay, so I'm starting off with the number 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. And I'm just going to pat that all over my face into my skin in a patting motion. So now I'm just going to go ahead and prepare to fill in my brows. If you guys want a more in-depth video on how I fill in my brows and what I use, just let me know down in the comments and I will do a video on it. Now going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Chestnut on a cosmetic wedge. I am going to be using this color to conceal all of the dark marks on my face. If you do not have acne scarring, you can go ahead and skip this step. As you can see, I'm making sure that I'm blending the product in my skin really, really good with the sponge. Also forgot to mention that I did dampen that um, cosmetic wedge with some setting spray. Using a damp sponge just helps to move the product around my face a lot better. Now that I'm done concealing all of the dark marks on my face, now it's time to move on to foundation. On the back of my hand, I'm applying the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in 410 Cappuccino. And I'm just mixing in a lighter concealer to the foundation because it's a little red, so I want to tone it down a bit. Since I already applied the concealer to cover all of my dark marks, I'm only going to be applying a little bit of foundation because I won't need as much coverage. Now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. powder brush and I'm going to spray it with some of the e.l.f. setting spray and I'm going to buff the foundation into my skin. And I am beating the product into my face. I'm not swiping. I'm using like circular motions as I'm moving around my face. It's going to help to give a more flawless finish. I only applied a little foundation to my forehead because I don't like a lot of product on my forehead. So I'm just going to go in with this Sephora foundation brush and buff in the little bit of product that I did apply. Then I'm just going to go back in with the sponge and get all the areas that the brush didn't get. Alright, alright, so now it's time to go ahead and highlight and I'm just going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and I'm only going to be highlighting under my eyes, taking a sponge and I'm going to dampen it with the Elf Setting Spray and I'm going to beat in the product underneath my eye. I'm starting at the bottom then I'm going to work my way up under my eye because I do have fine lines and I don't want it to get cakey under there. And I'm just beating the concealer around to the side of my face and I'm just making sure I pat that in really really smoothly. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to bring some more depth and warmth back into my face because the foundation and the concealer that I applied before washed out my face, the dimension in my face. Then I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. powder brush and I'm just going to spray it with a little bit more of the setting spray and then I am just going to buff in that concealer a little bit more with the brush. I decided to just go ahead and highlight my chin with the leftover product that was on the sponge. Going back in with the powder brush that just helps to give a more flawless finish to your makeup and it looks really nice and airbrushed. Moving right along I'm going to use the e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder on a sponge and I'm just going to set my under eye concealer with that. Now I'm going to take the Black Radiance Concealer Stick and I'm just going to contour just the bridge of my nose and around my forehead. And I don't know the actual color right now but I'll put it in the description box. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take my Sephora Concealer Brush and I'm just going to dampen it and I'm just going to drag the um, concealer stick midway down the bridge of my nose. I'm not going to contour my full nose because I don't like that look. So yeah. <laughs> Then I'm just going to use a sponge and I'm going to dampen it and then I'm just going to go ahead and beat in the concealer stick that I applied around my hairline. This is just going to help separate the foundation from my hairline so it just doesn't look weird so it actually blends seamlessly.
Next, I'm going to take my powder brush by Real Techniques and I am going to be using my Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in the color Dark and I'm just going to go ahead and set my whole face with this powder. I love this powder, it's very lightweight. Here I'm using my Sonia Kasia Kabuki brush and I'm just going to go in with the Black Radiance Baked Blush and Toasted Almond and I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheek and I'm also going to drag it upwards and kind of use it as a blush slash contour. Next I'm going to use my L Small Stippling Brush and I'm going to apply this Black Radiance Baked Bronzer and Rum Spice to the apples of my cheeks, like right above my cheek and then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose in my Cupid's Bow. And doing this is going to bring a little bit more of a glowy look to my face, I love it. Okay, so going back in with that e.l.f. powder brush, I'm going to blend the bronzer and the blush together for a more flawless and seamless look. And of course, we got to set our makeup, so I'm just going to go ahead and set my makeup with the e.l.f. setting spray. I have really oily eyelids, so I'm just going back in and setting them with some translucent powder. Now I'm just going to go ahead and line my waterline with a dark brown eyeliner pencil from NYX and this is just to give the look a little bit more warmth. Now I'm going to go ahead and go and use some mascara and I'm going to do my top and bottom lashes and I will have any products that I didn't list like in the video they will be in the description box below. I don't know what this brush is called, but I'm just going back in with the bronzer that I used to highlight a little bit. And I'm just going to put it in my inner tear duct just to bring a little bit more warmth to the look again and just to bring it all together. And I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so now to the best part. I'm just going to go ahead and do a new lip. This is actually my favorite new lip combo. And I'm just lining my lips with this brown eyeshadow pencil. And um, don't forget to check out the description box because I will put all of the names of the lip products and everything down below. So do not forget to check it out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add the lipstick, the new lipstick to the center of my lips. Now I'm just blending that all together and then I'm going to go ahead and top it with this nudie pink lip gloss. And I'm just going to mainly focus that in the center of my lips. Now I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. concealer brush and then I'm just going to dampen it and I'm going to go in with this cream foundation and I'm just going to clean up wherever I messed up on the lip liner. Then I'm just going to go ahead and set that cream foundation with the powder. And here's the finished look. And I forgot to mention that you can go ahead and add eyeshadow to this look if you like. I'm just not an eyeshadow kind of girl. <laughs> And I just want to show you all that this look can go with any lip color so I just threw on a purple lip. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I also hope it was helpful and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!